Hey, what's up, guys? Christian Chase coming at you with another Team Big Rat YouTube channel video. Um, finally got some things figured out, so we're going to get on a more consistent posting schedule for the YouTube. As for our Twitch channel, um, I've run a few test streams. My Wi-Fi is really bad um, at my parents' house, where I am when I'm not at college. Um, so in a month or two, when I get back to my dorm, I probably plan on streaming there. Um, and getting a consistent schedule going with like an actual stream instead of me just hopping on randomly to see if the Wi-Fi is working. Um, but as for YouTube content, uh, we just want to put out more content, um, practice for putting out content when stuff actually matters. Um, there's obviously nothing much is going on in the Pokemon world, uh, trading card game right now. So past the limitless um, invitation for the weekend. So I think. We're just going to put out some videos, maybe some interviews from Limitless, some discussions for post-rotation decks um, with the team and stuff along those lines. Uh, but today I wanted to profile a deck that top aided Limitless Qualifier 4. Um, it plays ADP and Big Rat, so I thought it would be on brand to uh, do a kind of profile on this channel of the deck. Um, it's Ultimate Mewtwo. Lots and lots of fun to play. You know, you have a lot of options throughout the deck. Basically, um, what you're trying to do is most of the time, um, and this changes per matchup, but you want to use the Sogaleo GX's Soul Burst GX attack with Mewtwo to put five energy wherever you want and start attacking using the attacks of your GX Pokemon if you discard, such as Bioplume, Reshi Zard and Char Reshi Ram and Charizard GX, uh, Marshad and Champ. Mega Tyranitar and Sableye, ADP, Mega Lopunny and Jigglypuff, and all that fun stuff. Obviously, we have different lines of or GX attacks in certain matchups, like versus one prize decks, we're going to want to go into altered creation. Um, versus ADP variants, we're going to want to go into altered creation. And then utilize the Xerneas Prism if we can. Um, versus Baby Blounds, we have the Cryogonal, um, which really, after altered, just like, can just sweep. Um, baby Blounds up, especially if they can't respond with a KO immediately, because if they can't respond with a KO the first time, they are not going to respond with it ever again, and you can just win the game with Cryogonal. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I mean, basically, this is the exact 60 that top aided the event, so we'll just get into some games with it, probably two or three, and show off why this deck is awesome, not only because it plays ADP and Big Rats. Um, I do enjoy playing this deck a lot. It's one of my favorite decks to do the run of And um, just, you know, play games for fun with it. There's so much going on. It's so fun to play. Um, also, shout out Henry Brand for making the deck back out of your birth. I think. Um, all right, so we started the Mewtwo and the Active. We'll see what we're going up against. If it's Pika, uh, we'll, we tend to have a pretty good peak, favorable Pika matchup, and that's... Probably why I did well at the tournament. Um, don't want to bench Jirachi unless we have to. Oh, so my opponent starts Tina, which indicates we're going against Dragapults. Right? I um, I could only assume we're going up against Dragapults. Which our ideal line of play here is probably to just set up a T-Tar. Like, I don't know what our opponent does. We just set up a T-Tar um, and go from there. Oh, wow. So we just... All right. Um, so we're definitely going against Pult. So we're going to want to get this Sogaleo GX out. T-Tar is in the deck. Um, we have how many total of... Eight. We prized one energy. Just want to get Jirachi on the field. We're gonna quick ball. Get just get the T Tar out. I think. Um, and then we're gonna research. Five plume in the discard. Super good. Um. Um. I don't want to dead change his hand. I want to hold as many energies as we can because Pult normally plays energy denial. Um. I'd like to put four on the bench and then one on the active view too. I'm just 
just going to get our five energy. Put one Aurora on the active, and then the rest on the bench Teton. Um, and I'm totally fine with that line of play here. So just a complete and utter research from my opponent. Yeah, his hand was really bad. Um, oh. Huh? Are we going against? Yeah, we're definitely going against Dragon Ball. Just with a uh, Malamar. Okay. Um, yeah, so there's the Pult. He has to get a double Pult down here, or we can just go for the boss's border play. Um, which, if he doesn't get down, because, like, if he gets down double pult, then, like, we're kind of, not in trouble per se, but, um, yeah, so Latina's gonna come out, he has to put some damage on our bench Pokemon, um, At least in the Malamar line, so I don't know exactly how energy denial focused his deck is. So this T-Tar play is probably pretty solid. So we're just gonna cherish ball. We're gonna get all of our just gonna do this. We are going to we want to hit the boss this turn. We're gonna quick ball. We're getting our this guy. Um I'm just gonna switch into T Tar preemptively. Um and dead change. I'm fine with this play. So we whip the So we're just throw the swell down and we hit another switch though even though we whiff the boss play, so I'm just going to switch into Mewtwo, um, and Massive Blue with our Bile Blue. Um, getting the Chaotic Swell was nice, missing the boss kind of hurt, um, but then again, as soon as he promotes the Dragon Ball and attacks with it, we will... So he's promoting Tino, which just means his hand seems really bad, um... So see an ordinary rod. I don't know what list we're going up against. This is, um, uh, the only gauntlet deck I don't have built in is Dragon Ball. Uh, so just a pass for my opponent. Um, I want to conserve the energy in case he starts energy denying us out of nowhere. I honestly don't think we have to play any cards here. Yeah, uh, I don't. I don't see anything. Playing anything. Everything in our um, deck. We thin basically everything we need out of our deck. Let's see the ink gate promotion. We could like eventually go. So there's the energy. I mean, like as, if, as long as he's not energy denying us, um, as soon as he promotes a, so you can probably switch and hit for like 140. Oh yeah, so he's just gonna switch and jump to 140. Yeah, let's see. Um, they're just gonna probably just retreat and attack the T Tar, and then he just straight up loses. Um, so that's how you go against uh, play against Dragon Ball. Normally, you set up the T Tar. Um, there's other lines of play too, especially against the. You just have to identify if it's the Energy Denial one or not. Is then you just go into like U2s um, attacking for a little for like where they don't need to attack with energy because going into the T Tar is very very risky that they can just go Tina. Scoop, Tina, Scoop, Tina, Scoop, and then you're like, body. Um, oh my gosh. Um, Alright, so this hand is not great. Um, are we going first? We're going first. It's our least important energy, so we're just gonna pass it on over. Um, god, that's awful. So bad. Looks like we're going against Tina, or we're going against Energy Denial. Pull here, so I'll play another game after this one. Uh, oh. Oh, what? What are we playing against? That's a Zacian B. Are we playing against 
mill? No, we're playing against... What? We're playing against, it looks like, Turbo's place? So bad getting rid of three energy to start. Holy moly. Um Oh my gosh. Um How much else we can do? Alright, to pass and hope. He can't pull off the combo. We're fine with him necessarily like, taking KOs here. There's the energy. There's the switch! Oh no. We prized our other to Dene. We just. Oh, that was Probably could have switched into the. Oh, wow. Um... We can try to do something here. Um, probably fail. Just because of how poor our draws were to start. Um, I mean... We have the Sogaleo in the discard, so we can Soul Burst here onto the Reshizard. Uh, that's what I'm just gonna do. We only have four energy in deck. We're throwing them on the Reshizard. Um, all in on that Reshizard. And again, if he hits a scoop net, I think we just lose. <laughs> Like, I don't know what we do if he hits his foot net and just gets rid of energy. Um, because of how poor that start was, getting rid of three energy to start. We have five and then three in the discard, so we did prize two. You know, if we can take some prizes, we may be able to... I don't know what we're going against right now. It seems just like a combo Zacian that's hitting the nuts. Um, so next turn we just switch bosses over to kill the Zacian with... Uh, whichever one has more energy. There's a scoop. I'd be totally okay if you like benched it now. Like that'd be honestly advantageous. Um, I, think I don't know what kind of list this is. Though. So there's one energy. Whichever one he intrepids with and hits energy, we're just gonna boss switch kill. He has the Tina in hand to energy deny us. How many scoops does he play? Kill that Zacian. That's fine with me. I uh, maybe we can start kind of chuckling for like sixty. That seems bad. Uh, but he's just gonna get rid of the energy as long as we keep two. I'm fine though. Because like we're just gonna have to hope once he, the next time he attacks with Zacian, he's just not able to attack again with Zacian, right? I mean that's just what we have to. Oh my gosh, is another scoop? I don't know if that is that right. I mean like I guess if he has another scoop, if he's another scoop here. We, we could be straight clapped. Um, there's another saucer. So if he has saucer scoop here, we just lose. I think. Saucer scoop switch. To... Uh, uh, wow. And the switch, okay. This guy hit the absolute nuts. We don't have any energy in deck, so we just lose. Um, 
Alright, um, that guy, he hit the stones, so we'll just go into a game three with the deck. Obviously, if he doesn't hit that, insane combo cards, we can just win the game. Um, we also had an insanely poor start where we had to get rid of three of our energy um, early, um, and if we didn't, we could have managed to easily win. If we had an out to energy there, we would have won, I think, for sure. Just Marnie attach, kill. Um, and then he has to, he played three saucers, so his only way to kill us would have been like if he played Mawile. So we'll win the coin flip again. For sure. Okay, we started Mewtwo, which is always a plus. Let's see what we're going up against. Egg Row. Egg to the Row. I, um, I'm gonna cherish ball, see if Reshi's Art's in deck, right? We're just going Reshi's Art here. We're gonna get some weird decks. Rushy's Art's in deck. Uh, so does this guy. We have five energies in there. Uh, then we just pass. I want to hold it and I want to attach Rainbow to active. Um, and then dead A change. So this turn is going to super growth. I think super growth is bugged. Someone told me that it was. So, um, I don't know if he's going to be able to super growth. Maybe they fixed it. Um, I, like, because the patch the other day, I heard about super growth. Um, Supergrowth. Yeah, see, Supergrowth is bugged apparently. Yeah, I. This is his first game playing with the deck today? That was about a tingly return. Yikes. Before I'm actually uh, one on you, too. Um, we didn't get to use ADP or Big Rat, um, which kind of stinks. Even if he's super gross, him like hitting us, as long as he doesn't, it, it, if he doesn't have weakness guard, right, he just loses. I, he sends me another heartbreak, yeah. I would be kind of mad about it too, not gonna lie. Um, looks like he's dead drawing, we can just... I think we just Marnie here. I want to attack with me to a new. Uh, oh my gosh, voice crack. Um, we should just get to Dene so that I can use. What do you call it? Uh, ultimate Ray. Um, we just. Ultimate Ray. And like, I don't know, even if he gets the energy, like, his big play would be to shuffle our energy with the GX attack. But, um, he promotes here. Looks like he's going to try to do that. If he has the real boom in hand. Yeah, so there's the evolution incense. So he can do that next turn. Or no, he, even, he can even, right? Because he goes real boom, two energy, and the next turn he gets to attach one and he doesn't have six. So like... He can't even do it. And that's saying we don't like the boss. Oh, there's a Marnie, which it's fine by me. Don't have boss in hand. Uh, 
We have third to Dene in deck. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be happy with that either if I were him. Um, right, like if I just kill him, which won't be the easiest thing to do. There, we hit the switch. Never mind. So we can't flare strike if we want. So I think we just want to get rid of him. We're just gonna go in with the flare strike. Um, research, it's fine. Um, I don't think we have to do anything excess here. We can just throw this down in case we have to switch so we can foul a lot of flare strike. And then we just flare strike. I don't think. Yeah, he just can't get another energy on that, so he's gonna have five, which will eventually lead to me just KOing him. So he's gonna, we're gonna see the fifth energy, which means no. Yeah, he's one energy short. Wouldn't have been one energy short if there wasn't a bug. Um, this matchup's very hard for us because of the GX attack, where he just shuffles the energy back in. Uh, where's the boss? Where's the other guy? Ah, he's gonna hit us. Um, so at least he went out. Alright, so that's it for Ultimate Mewtwo. Just wanted to put out a deck profile on it. Um, watching. Sorry, I didn't get to use ADP or Big Rap today, but it's in there. Um, so, peace out. See you guys in the next video.